Sal, I'm tired of you sticking your nose, your extra long nose, in my business. You've cost me the number one contendership and the NWA Wildside Junior Heavyweight Belt. Well, tonight, that's not going to happen. Tonight, you're coming up on the short end of the stick. Short? Short isn't even the beginning of it. Take him out for you, Matt. Matthew Seidel, apparently you don't realize how great I am. I'm a former and greatest wild side junior heavyweight champion. I mean, look at me. I'm also the 2002 rookie. Hey, down here, Buster. Rookie of the year. I'm everything you've always wanted to be, but better. <laughs> you see, tonight you get your chance to take a wild ride on the wild side. And speaking of wild rides, my boo, Daisy Hayes, is going to be out there, too. It's just a shame Raymond's not going to be out there to celebrate with me. Salinar, I tell you, he is such a gifted competitor. But his mouth and his actions leave so much to be desired that he's just pretty much like a target for so many people to, to finally try to shut up. And perhaps Matt Seidel, and we heard words from Matt Seidel, as well as Daisy Hayes, earlier on in this edition of Wild Side, perhaps tonight is the night to finally put the kibosh on the ever-flapping yap of Sal Renaro. Well, they stated both publicly, tonight was the time to put up or shut up. This has gone on long enough that Sal Renaro continues to lay claim to Daisy Hayes, and she is denying any and all allegations of that. that would uh, you? Uh, exactly, yeah. I would. And denying any in all allegations that her and Sal Renaro were ever lustfully enamored. I think the only thing that Sal Renaro's ever been lustfully enamored with has been his right hand, but that's uh, another show. Happily not this one. Matt Seidel taking great exception to that. Matt Seidel takes a great exception to Sal Renaro's right hand? That's I'm weird. sure he'd prefer the right hand at this point, especially after what's going on in recent weeks with Renaro and Daisy Hayes. And him disgustingly forcing himself upon her and stealing her clothing. Yeah, on and, television too, no less. And word has it he also stole a couple of pair of her panties, but we'll not go there. Ugh. No proof of that, just allegation. That, that's way too much information. Thank you very much, Dan Wilson. Pure speculation at this point. Ooh. Side headlock there by Matt Side out. Appropriately enough, a side headlock. Renaro takes the arm, applying pressure there, and Side out trying to. Uh, to maneuver his way out of that, but uh, he's not having a lot of luck here. No, that's not, but happened with Daisy Hayes and ringside, and I think that Daisy Hayes has got to be more diversion for Sal Renaro at this game. What a float over by Matt Seidel and Sal Renaro. Did I have to see Sal tap out? Unfortunately, not within the eyesight of uh, Andrew Thomas. I'm sure it's probably not a, uh, a genuine tap out, but I can dream, can't I? Beautiful man exchange there from Seidel. He was really showing Renaro who the boss in this altercation was. But uh, Renaro slipped out, got a hammerlock, and is now in control of the matchup. Beautiful counter by Seidel. Takes the arm once again. Big forearm shot by Seidel. Hammerlock. Side headlock now. Renaro trying to find a way out of it. He's feeling Seidel out, and he's successful. Side headlock of his own, cinching it in. And a charging shoulder block from Sal Renaro leveling Matt Seidel. Matt gets up pretty quickly. Oh, there, and a drop kick that misses its mark. Pun intended. Big elbow drop. Oh, boy, I tell you, Sal is one hurt carbon unit. Matt Seidel rolls up Sal Renaro. Oh, all for naught. Leg sweep by Renaro. Two count only. Goes for a clothesline. Seidel ducks and counters with a beautiful arm drag, takedown, beautiful clothesline, beautiful drop kick. This guy's throwing it all in the face of Renaro. Quite a flurry of offense from Matt Seidel, and Sal Renaro is uh, calling for timeout. And let me take a quick look at the rule book, see if there's a timeout in pro wrestling. Nope, oh, still no timeouts allowed in pro wrestling. Damn it, hasn't changed. We may be the nation's number one pro wrestling alternative, but we sure ain't going to add that one in the rule book. And Sal is professing his love for the re rapidly retreating Daisy Hayes. Run for your life, Daisy. Oh, big chop to the chest. 
Matt Seidel make that two, make that three. And Sal's out here to impress Daisy, and it's, uh, it ain't working, Sal. And his asphyxiation with Hayes also caused Renaro to get a few slight chops to the chest. And Sal Renaro claimed that uh, looks like he's trying to cool off the, the red and raw chest. Those chops must have really hurt since uh, even with a shirt on, let's hope Sal Renaro always wears a shirt. Still wasn't enough to uh, eliminate most of the pain. Well, Renaro putting the boots to Matt Seidel here this week on Wildside. Renaro with a bait and switch there on Seidel. The old mousetrap trick there, and he caught him right back in the ring and laid the boots to him. But Seidel just watches Renaro telegraph himself from a mile away and makes him pay for it with a double chop. No one will ever accuse Salvatore Renaro of being the master of subtlety. Double underhook by Seidel. Beautiful double underhook suplex. A little extra snap in that from Seidel. Goes for a quebrada. Renaro gets the knees up. Big clothesline. As Sal Renaro goes flying through the air with that clothesline, leveling Seidel. Uh, try covering the man, uh, Sal. Well, not with your leg on the bottom of his throat. The bizarre tactic of Sal Renaro. And frankly, I think Sal, Matt Seidel could have been ripe for the pinning. Seidel ducks a clothesline. Big sunset flip there. Renaro's trying with everything he's got to get the ropes. He does it to count. And a haymaker that missed. Released German suplex by Matt Seidel. Which Plant didn't Renaro. miss. And Renaro is rocking. But the action has gone on for already five or six minutes here. And both competitors seemingly uh, getting more and more spent as time goes on. Renaro charged, and Seidel just caught him out of nowhere with that hurricane run, a beautiful maneuver. On a moving target, no less, too. And Renaro manages to get one of those long, rangy legs over that bottom rope. At least Renaro's paying attention. Scoot by Seidel, Renaro goes behind. Neck breaker onto the knee by Renaro. Hooks the leg. Andrew Thomas down for the count. Still not enough to put away the gutsy Matt Seidel. Matt Seidel kicked out, but not with much authority. Obviously, the damage of Sabatari Renaro is really beginning to hit home. Did Sal Renaro just say, Tully Blanchard fears me? Renaro on the second turnbuckle, now scaling to the top. Tremendous elbow drop. Right into the sternum of Seidel, but yet again, an arrogant cover may have cost him. Just a little more pressure on the shoulders, or a simple hook of the leg could have made Sal Renaro the victor there. If Unfortunately, his arrogance cost him yet again. If he only perhaps looked at his opponent, he could perhaps detect it. What kind of state Matt Seidel would have been in if he was right for the pinning or not. And oh dear! Salvatore Renaro is paying the price for his indiscretions. Went for that reverse suplex and Seidel landed on his feet, caught him with the axe kick. Now both men are down. Daisy Hayes quite obviously cheering on her man as Matt Seidel slowly makes it to his feet. Oh, that clearly a kick that missed. Met with a flurry of fists into the face of Sal Renaro. And a clothesline right under that bridge of his nose. Oh, I can't miss that. Corkscrew variation on a suplex there from side out. But again, only a two count. And a forearm from that side out, and a chop to the chest. Big back body drop. Renaro lands hard, and this is the opportunity Seidel has been waiting for. Renaro is really feeling the punishment here. Yes, but Renaro, uh, oh my God, thunderous kick across the head of Renaro. God, I think that's it. That is it. Uh, check that, no. Renaro manages to roll left shoulder. I'll be just barely. Thought we seen a critical knockout blow there. 
And maybe if that kick to the temple doesn't do it, then EDT will. Inside out, going to put a little more icing on the cake by going up top. Perhaps I know a pin where earlier on would have been worth its weight. Goes for a shooting star press. What quick thinking on the feet by Matt Seidel, able to actually counter it by landing on his feet when Renara moves out of the way. Sit out power bomb by Matt Seidel. But is he too fatigued to make the cover? Uh, check that. No, he's not. Pin attempt for Matt Seidel. Uh, Sal just gingerly rolls over. He, he was in no shape to kick out. Rolling over was enough to, to thwart that three count. Oh, and a bit of an assist from Andrew Thomas. Thanks for stopping by, Andrew. Standing shooting star off the back, but he didn't get all of it, and that did not allow Seidel to make the pin. It shows you the maturation of these wrestlers, but a lot of these high-risk maneuvers now, there's now counters for it. Oh, my God! Matt Seidel just got his flakes frosted, courtesy of Sal Renaro and Daisy Hayes on the rank trail of protest. Oi. I'm not calling this. Renaro just forcing himself on this young lady. Uh, that's a different match, Sal. And so Daisy Hayes fighting with all she's worth, and that's plenty. I thought that would have been a surprise pin. Oh, no, what's Sal have planned for Seidel? Oh, God, right across the back. Nargis saw Teru into a backbreaker. Renaro. Losing focus of the attention of Daisy Hayes, Daisy Conrana. And Sal Renaro not completely goofy. Matt Seidel. Springboard 450. It's over. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Matt Seidel.